Hi guys, Ben here. It is Monday afternoon. I'm at London Paddington Station, uh, waiting for the platform announcement for my journey to Swansea today, for Swansea versus Liverpool. Um, first game in about eight days for the Reds, so fresh legs, very excited to be there. Um, going alone today, or travelling alone at least, because the guys I'm going to be going with um, can't make it now, so that's unfortunate. So three hour train journey by myself up to Swansea, uh, check into the hotel and then straight to the ground. Not much time to play with as uh, I had to take a half day at work today, so I've been in until two o'clock and uh, here I am. So 15 minutes till the train leaves uh, and I'm actually really excited to go to this game. Um, I feel like the Reds have got a lot of momentum at the moment. Uh, Van Dijk should be making his first start in the league today, so that's exciting. Uh, and just all round, uh, I've, I've never been to Swansea before. Um, apparently the ground is in close proximity with the rest of the city, so not much. Having to mess around with taxis and long walks in the cold and stuff, so exciting. Um, Let's do this. So I've arrived in Swansea in my hotel room now. It's just past six o'clock. It's freezing cold outside, so I'm relieved to be here. Um, but yeah, all by myself, there you go. Uh, just a quick one. Lots of you ask where I get these shirts from. This is a most Salah shirt in a sort of New Balance design. Um, it's from La Folla Conquer. Uh, links in the description if you want to check those out. Loads of cool t-shirts on there. Um, I, I wear it quite a lot, to be honest with you. Good, good Liverpool gear. Um, but yeah, look, looking forward to the game tonight, as I said just a minute ago. Um, I guess the starting lineup is going to be um, the next real big bit of news. Uh, Alexis Sanchez confirmed to Man United, so there you go. Not something I thought would happen a few weeks ago, but um, that's, a, that's a big, that's a big one for the Premier League. Um, City obviously feel like they don't need to bolster their attacking options anymore for the time being. Even with Jesus out, um, a lot of Liverpool fans wanted us to go in for Sanchez. We didn't um, even think about it. To be honest, I think he's on. I, I know, I know, fees get exaggerated and wages get exaggerated, but you know, reports are that he's on sort of like five hundred grand the week before tax, which is, you know, treble what we didn't even think about paying for a man like that. So, um, it is what it is. Big, big, big transfer news in Premier League. Uh, Mkhitaryan going the other way to Arsenal. Um, saw early on that uh, Sam Maguire from Football Whispers has said that Lamar uh, Monaco would be willing to sell Lamar to us. Um, but look, that's not important at the moment. What is important is we've got a big game against Swansea City tonight. We can open up the gap between us and Spurs to five points. Um, we could really leave a real cushion between ourselves and the North London clubs, Spurs and Arsenal. So that would be lovely. Uh, if we can get a few goals in the process, that would be magnificent. But um, I'm going to get myself sort of sorted out, send a couple of emails and then some food and then a walk to the ground, which I believe is about 25, 30 minutes away, and then into these reds. So I'm midway through my walk to the ground. Um, just want to say something. Um, so normally on these day trips, I tend to sort of get my phone out when after we score during the, during the celebrations, and I'll put that in the vlog. Um, basically, from now on, I'm not going to do that. Um, it just kind of takes away from it a little bit. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I want to be fully engrossed in the celebrations without having to think, oh, I better get my phone out to capture this. Um, so, obviously, that doesn't. I don't know whether that changes much for you as a viewer, but um, obviously, I, I still get a little bit of footage from, from the ground and, and bits and bobs from the game if, if I can, but um, I don't want to be doing anything that's going to take away from the fun of it. And people people get pissed off, and people that also people get pissed off, people that get their phone out and start recording. Um, when you're supposed to be just like having it and enjoying yourself, so it just feels a bit unnatural doing it. Um, I've done it up until now. Just so you know, I'm not really going to do that anymore because I'd rather not. But obviously, I'll, I'll do what I can from inside the ground. And these vlogs should be more about the the, the trip and and the experience of it all and the the jubilation and stuff that you know the the, the post-match celebrations and what have you and just the overall day rather than just um, the celebrations from the Liverpool team when they score. Fingers crossed hopefully they do actually score tonight, otherwise it wouldn't, wouldn't be an issue, but um, yeah, there you go. Um, it's now, excuse my camera work, it's now quarter to seven, so team news in about 15 minutes. Um, let's see what happens. <laughs> Time. We've managed to lose the game 1-0. Uh, I've not had this feeling of hurt in a long time. Um, hurt of defeat, feeling of defeat. Um, I guess we've been due one after all the sort of close games we've won as of late. We've been due a game like this, but um, doesn't excuse performance. Doesn't excuse some individual performances out there tonight. Um, the away end was crap all night. It was just a real grim, moody night. 
Um, you know, we, we, we saw this sort of performance this time last season. Hopefully this isn't the start of a, a similar run, but um, I, I'm, I'm sure the I'm sure the, the fans are going to be calling for signings now. I, I, I think if this game was in March, you know, I, I, I'd be interested in actually seeing what people actually think the issues are. There wasn't a transfer window because uh, you know one player isn't going to solve the problems that we saw out there tonight. Um, having said that, we create we create a clear cut chance at the end, which for me knows should score. I'm shaking, by the way. It's, it's, I've started shaking. I don't know why. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a killer. It's a killer uh, on a weekend where everyone else bar Spurs won. We've uh, fallen behind. You can't afford any more of these results. Uh, I guess uh, I'll get out of here and uh, summarise things properly in a bit. Got it. What has transpired tonight is nothing that cannot be resolved by this cup of tea in my hotel room that I'm about to enjoy whilst I talk about that football match that just took place at the Liberty Stadium in Swansea as the Reds were beaten by a goal to nil. A Alfie Mawson first half goal to nil. Um, as I said at the ground, um, this feeling is is not one I've had in a while. Um, I guess I can compare it to the consecutive draws at Anfield, Everton and West Brom. Um, obviously, they were draws. So that I mean, this is I think this is our third defeat of the season. Um, we've had two hammerings at Spurs and Man City, um, but this is the first time we've been beaten by a crap team uh, by the odd goal, where we have all the ball. And um, we failed to create enough uh, all of the game. We, we failed to create enough throughout the whole game. We created a couple of clear-cut chances at the very end, but by then our heads are gone and we can't make the right decisions. Mo Salah makes the wrong decision um, when he tries to score with his right foot at the near post. Uh, Firmino hits the post uh, from point-blank range. And the Reds go home empty-handed when they should probably have had a point. But do you know what? I don't think we deserve the point tonight. Um, Swansea did deserve all three. Um, yes, they were time wasting. Yes, they were using, you know, rather shit house tactics. Yes, they were hardly playing attractive football, but they worked hard. They defended well. They were well organised. I thought Jordan I was absolutely superb for them, and he's not a player I've ever rated. But um, his work rate, his movement was terrific. Um, Liverpool were abject. Liverpool were too slow. Um, we have seen this from time to time. I, I, and I was getting annoyed more with the fans than the players in, in the first sort of half an hour. Um, I, I was okay with the patient build-up play. I, I, I expected us to turn turn the screw. It reminded me of the first sort of 20 minutes away at Stoke. Um, I can't remember where Mane opened the scoring on that day, but I remember there being about 20 minutes, I think, before we scored, maybe 25. And it was very slow, very lethargic, very similar to what we saw there. And... Um, Eventually, we just we found the way, but tonight we never found the way, and it got to 60 minutes, and we we're still playing that slow build-up play with not much happening um, in the final third, and it was getting more and more frustrating. I was getting frustrated with Joe Gomez. Um, delivery was poor all night, um, but then sometimes too often he just turned back. Vine Alden was anonymous tonight. He really was. Um, he's. Not had a great season. I like Van Adam a lot. I thought he was good against Man City, but this has not been his best season after he did pretty well in his first season. Um, so that's annoying. Emre Chan's piss poor uh, tonight. Unfortunately, I'm dropping my camera everywhere. Um, so I was changing hands whilst I, you know, make way for me to. Um, Chan's poor. The, mid the midfield's poor. I thought Oxley Chamberlain played well. Um, he gets shoved out to the right hand side. I thought it was the wrong change to make. Bringing him off, I thought Lallana was the correct uh, introduction, but I thought Van Adam should have been withdrawn. Um, he does eventually come off for Danny Ings, who's getting way too much stick on Twitter for what he deserves as far as I'm concerned. I thought Danny Ings did okay when he came on. I think he's an, an okay player. I think he's. I got no problem with Jurgen lashing him on for the last 20 minutes. He looked bright, he looked lively, he moved well. Um, 
but it didn't happen for the Reds tonight. It didn't happen for the Reds. I'm not in a good mood about it. Um, some are much worse off than me on Twitter, from what I can see. Um, transfers, of course, being the main talking point. Uh, um, where was all of this after Man City? Um, the main thing we needed to address this season was a centre-back, and we've brought one for £75 million. Yes, we've lost Coutinho. Not something I'm happy with. Um, but <laughs> Jürgen Klopp, funnily, funnily enough, knows more about football than me, you, or anyone else watching this video. So... Um, I was distraught back in October when we lost to Spurs. I bemoaned the fact we didn't sign a centre-back. Uh, was I right? Maybe. Was I Was I a bit too harsh? I don't know. I, I mean, it, we haven't lost since, so perhaps he was right all along. We got Van Dijk eventually, so there you go. Um, all's well that ends well. Uh, Liverpool will get better. They will have a better squad by, by August. Um, will we be in the Champions League? I believe so. Will we go far in this season's Champions League? I think we'll go as far... Um, well, look, I think we'll get past Porto, put it that way. And then who knows what's going to happen from there. But anyway, I've rambled on for five minutes here somehow. I've got a cup of tea to get to. I'll talk about, more, I'll talk about this game more um, when I can. And um, this video could go up tonight. It depends on the, the Wi-Fi in here. It's not great. Um, so it could be tomorrow morning. Uh, in which case it won't have many views. Anyway, subscribe if you're new. Um, up the Reds. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. It's Ben Mike saying all those. And leave a comment with your overriding emotions on that football match. I'm not happy. But let's not lose our Reds. See you next time.